by Silent now, as opposed to when the Saints have the ball. Oh, look at this run! What a run! Marshawn Lynch! Still on his feet! Has blockers now! He's dancing his way! For the touchdown! He's got big games coming up in qualifiers, of course. Uh, as we reconvene the internationals in the springtime. Well, there's a long ball through and Jim Oh Marsh my god, an insane goal! I've just seen the most insane goal I have ever seen on a football pitch! Incredible! Incredible! Football or soccer is a more difficult sport. If you answer football, you're one of many who believe that soccer is a sport that is soft-spirited, takes little skill, and is very simple to pick up. These implications are simply incorrect. Soccer takes a high level of aggression, sacrifice, and dedication to become a well-rounded player. The United States is often criticized because of the skill level of the MLS. However, the first MLS season began in 1993 while soccer leagues have existed in Europe since 1857. Therefore, our country won't be as developed in the sport. The MLS as a whole has continued to strive in the sport as several European legends have traveled to the MLS, multiple new teams have been created, and several youth MLS development academies have been established in the last 10 years. Many critics do not understand the level of fitness it requires to play a full 90 minute match. Soccer consists of constant jogging and sprinting which is stressful on the body over the 90 minutes. According to stats, the world's leading sports data collector for over 35 years have tracked several soccer matches and the results have shown that a soccer player can cover up to 9.5 miles with the exception of goalkeepers. In comparison to other sports such as football, they only cover 5 to 7 miles during a normal match. Hey coach, do you believe soccer is an easy sport to become great at? Why or why not? I think that it's not an easy sport to become great at, but it's attainable. Uh, anytime you put and have passion, it's something that, that you, can, you can push on to and, and achieve your goals. Okay. How important is fitness to soccer? I think fitness is the number one most important thing. Uh, without a good fit team, you're not going to be able to sustain high levels of play, and that's that's the name of the game. So. And um. What type of workouts do you conduct with your team at Spalding and your team at Eastos to make sure that they're ready to perform a 90-minute match? Well, I like to make sure that we're playing at game speed so we get acclimated to handling this kind of pressure and the kind of speed of play, you know, game in and game out. Uh, you know, it's not always straight line running. You know, a lot of a lot of different cardio type of workouts and agility workouts are important as far as getting your feet and keeping that kind of fitness level right where you need it. Although soccer players often train to be physically fit to last a whole 90 minutes, they also need to be able to produce physical tackles that are needed during an average game. Tackling is a key aspect of the game of soccer. The ability to win the ball over an opponent is essential as it determines whether a goal is scored for your team or a counterattack is developed for your team to score a goal. According to the official English Premier League EPL site, there was a total of 384 yellow cards and 20 red cards given during the 2016-2017 EPL season, one of the top leagues in the world. This shows how tackling is a normal aspect of the sport and makes soccer an aggressive sport. How long have you played soccer in the position you play? I've played soccer for about 10 years through club and high school ball, and I'm a goalkeeper. Um, does aggression play a part at your position? Why or why not? Aggression plays a big part in the role of the goalkeeper because it is important for him to take the ball out of the air and come off of his line. How important is conditioning to the soccer? Conditioning is very important in soccer because the soccer athlete is always moving, always running, so if you're not conditioned, you're not going to impact the game. A slight stereotype has developed that soccer players are only proficient at running over long distances. This accusation is also false. Players such as Antonio Valencia, Aaron Robin, Gareth Bell, Theo Wilcott, Lionel Messi, and the famous Cristiano Ronaldo are the fastest recorded players in the current 2017-2018 season. These players have all been recorded sprinting. 18.7 miles to 22 miles per hour. 
Tyree Kill, the fastest player in the NFL, recently topped 23 miles per hour during week 12 of the 2016-2017 season. Therefore, the fastest player in the NFL is only one mile per hour faster than the fastest professional soccer player. These stats show that professional soccer players have the same physical abilities as any football player. As explained, soccer is a sport that takes a large amount of time to become physically fit and to become proficient technically. A 90 minute match is full of sprints and constant jogging and is stressful on the body which is why it is one of the hardest sports to train for. In addition to the physical fitness required, players also have to train with dribbling, shooting and ability to play at fast tempos. Aggression is the last and one of the most important aspects of the game. Aggression gives every team an edge in the match and is usually the decider, which makes the game intense for the full 90 minutes. Soccer is one of the most underrated sports in the United States, but many critics have never played past the level of middle school. The sport is factually one of the hardest to adapt to. So next time you hear someone say that soccer isn't difficult, remind them it requires the same amount or even more time and dedication of any other sport.